Right, this is Fetch for Kramer LTV at Bloodstock 2011. I'm here with Cerebral Boar. How are we doing, man? Good, man. Good. Hey, how you doing? Both uh, drinking Monster OC. A little uh, top up with the energy. That's Give it, us yeah. an endorsement. That's We're it. Worth it. See? That's it. Endorsement done. <laughs> <laughs> Send that to them. We'll see what happens in it. Now, uh, I caught you guys um, at Derby, I don't know, was it six months ago or something like that? Yeah, it was a while back. We could show. Yeah, yeah, we could show. We did an interview then, you know. Yeah. So, what, what have you been up to since? Well, Christ, Ooh, just. Uh, uh, you did a full American and Mexico tour. No, I, I've been, uh, I read a bit about this, uh, something about who got arrested. Myself. Uh, uh, take us from the beginning, what happened? <laughs> oh, right. So, <laughs> I'm. I'm, I'm, I'm I'm sorting this out my brain so I can condense it. I don't want to relive this, point. but yeah, you do. But no. the basis of it is, we done our Mexican tour. Sorry, we done our American tour, then the Mexico tour, and on the last day, we decided that we'd fly back to New York, meet up with the Eric uh, uh, guys and girls, go out for a drink. Yeah. So that night, everyone got wrecked. Himself, our vocalist Som, and a couple of other uh, Eric staff went back to a friend's house, uh, a guy called Federico. Crashed there. Meanwhile, Marcel and Paul. And two uh, unknown members, so to say, of the Eric staff came out oh, yeah. with us. Because I figured, well, this is our last night. It was a Tuesday night that we went out. We're flying back at five on the Wednesday. Yeah. So we kind of figured, right, go out and make, make our last night memorable, you know? Well, it turned out more memorable than I thought it would be, you know? Uh, so basically, in a nutshell, we're walking along. There's a shop open. All the lights are open. The door's widely ajar, okay? So our guitarist Paul walks in, he's like, oh, I'll go and get some food. Because it's like 8 o'clock in the morning, you know what I mean? Most shops are open now. Goes in, picks up some Lunchables, walks up to the counter, the fucking alarm goes off. <laughs> he's like, oh shit, what's going on here? Drops the Lunchables, we leave the shop, maybe go like two doors up um, to this, uh, it's like a, like a Manhattan cold cut kind of sandwich, coffee shops kind of thing. Um, got a sandwich, give it a side, and like, let's say you got like two bites and a sandwich and five fucking cop cars flying down the road, cops jump out, guns drawn, run up to us, basically. I know. Hey. Uh, hey, that was our guitarist. Yeah. For, if he's it, the other fucking, he's, he's the other responsible. Yeah. He was the other guy that got arrested. Yeah. Um, so yeah, basically, cops threw us against the wall, stuck us in black back of um, police cars, took us to a precinct. At this point, did you know what happened? No. No, we didn't have a fucking clue. Do you know what I mean? Like, like at the time, we weren't read our rights or nothing, man. Well, I was like, we were standing there getting this picture. We were standing there eating a sandwich, and a cop comes up with a gun, smashes the hat, fucking sandwich out of our hand, spins us round, sticks us against the wall, and cuffs us uh, along with the three other people we were with, or the two other people we were with. Uh. So basically, after that, we get carted up to the precinct, yeah. and then from the precinct, we got basically like. Like retina scan, database, pretty much like database on the criminal record in America, right? From there, we got put took to uh, Central Booking, which is where like all the criminals, like regardless, well, like depending on what crime you had, um, you you pretty much all the criminals go to Central Booking, and then you get devised out of there. Right? I bet it's rougher than here as well. Isn't it? Dude, it was mental, man. It was man. Basically, two days stuck in a fucking cell with like gangbangers, rapists, murderers, okay, fucking like the, the scum of society basically but um, yeah it was pretty, pretty so what, crazy. What, why, what happened obviously there must right. be an explanation in it. Well what happened is basically we, we didn't actually know this at the time yeah, yeah. but once we spent two days in the jail they basically said just like listen we'll let, we can let you out but you have a court date pending on the Monday and this was maybe the Friday night so we had to wait the weekend in order to go and, and uh, like in order to let us out we had to hand over our passport so obviously we couldn't leave the country so we had to spend pretty much like another three or four days roughing it in New York just so we could see our court date to get Are you glad you didn't come out yeah yeah because <laughs> I mean obviously what happened was uh, basically mine and some side of the story was we were like right fuck you guys I'm going to sleep went to sleep got up the next day so I was like can't get Paul so I nothing new there so we'll go to the Eric office we'll probably crashed out on the couch mad with it still like it's fine went to the Eric office as soon as I walked in the door our label manager goes you ready for this I'm oh, like oh dude. god he's like yeah they got arrested what for uh, it's like mistaken identity it's got something to do with like murder and I was like what <laughs> and then uh, what 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 and basically he explained that 
A couple, um, a guy and a woman, had been running around Manhattan knocking off drugstores in the middle of the night, shooting the clerk, everybody in there, taking the prescription drugs and doing a runner. I mean, you just happened to match the description. Did. Because Last they had went into a drugstore in the middle of the night in Manhattan. No, morning. 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 It was like 8 o'clock in the morning. Whatever, right? They went into a drugstore when it wasn't supposed to be opened and had a wee thingy about. And the cops were on high alert because the guy had done it like, what, four or five well, times or something? Li- so it it, they hadn't caught him. The day so. before we got lifted, the couple had went in an execution style, killed two members of staff and two people picking up their fr- like, prescriptions. So obviously, the next again day when a pharmacy alarm goes off, the cops are like high alert. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as they're concerned, this is the people who have went. You're lucky they didn't think it was definitely you and just take you down, man. Imagine that. Well, dude, that's why the guns were drawn and like... Ah, it was crazy, it was crazy. But anyway, that all got resolved, we went to court date, we got acquitted, we're all sound, it's all good. On the bright side... Can you be entitled to some compensation for this? Dude, well, no, at dude. the end of the day they got to fly home for free as opposed to pay for a new Man, at the, oh, dude, at, at the end of the day we got another free week in New York and our flight home for nothing, so it's like, yeah. That is compensation. Karma, yourself, man, you know? Yeah. Fucking hell, man. But yeah, yeah. I'm glad I asked that because I, I did read up about it and I, and I was like, no way. No, the thing is, it doesn't happen every day. It wasn't fucking no, no, some no. of the, like, the, the UK tabloids and it was all like blown out of abortion, like 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 Scots, Scots rockers. Yeah, in, like page in 21 of the fucking Daily Cases, Record, huge like, page, big photo of him like on stage with the bass and I was like, oh my God, my boss is going, did you have a good time, eh? I'm like, eh, uh, it was great. No, don't go to the States again, yeah? Oh, no, oh, we no. will. We'll be back. Yeah. I mean, how was the tour in the States, anyway? Oh, it was phenomenal. Phenomenal, yeah. phenomenal, phenomenal time. Um, great crowds. I mean, great didn't you find it, like, a scary thing, obviously, being well, from here? Is, oh, well, I, me and Paul, with the previous lineups, had toured it twice already. Oh, wow. So right, this third time, we were... Friends, you know I mean? It was we like, knew exactly how everything goes down on tour over there. Nice call. But it was Kyle and Tom's first time, so... But yeah, we hit up some... Good major cities like New York, Las Vegas, like LA. Man. See the Grand Canyon. Went, oh, to, Ro- Grand Canyon. went to Roswell. Went to Roswell, New Mexico. Oh, man. Wow, man. Uh, yeah, we did a, did a few cool things, man. Um, but overall, it was just a, a great tour. Mexico as well. Mexico, was, you'll never find crowds like that anywhere else in the world. That's some insane shit. It's because, like, you kind of get the impression that in Mexico, they're so starved of a metal scene yeah, that as soon as, as, soon as a band goes, it's like, 300 people at a gig like that, you know what I mean, straight away, yeah. without, without even the, consideration. We played this show like outdoors in Merida, in Mexico, and um, it was like a stage was hand built by this little guy, this little Mexican guy shows up with a truck and like, hey man, and then just starts putting the tr- stage out and we were like, Jesus, with his like five year old son that was helping him put this stage together, and we were like, right, and then the kit went on and all that, and then the lighting and the PA and all that, and we were like, oh, it's not bad man, not bad. They're like, I uh, don't expect that many people though, maybe maybe 50, 60 people, but it'll still be a good show. Like 350 kids show up wow, for this man. show. Just like just a sea. Just a sea, a sea of, of people. people like, oh, oh god. It's like my god man. Insane crowds. Insane but, uh, crowds. But it's so good. Cancun. Really responsive. Holy shit. See if you've not been a good beach before, Cancun. Blow your mind, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I wonder you want to go back there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you got arrested again. Yeah, yeah, it was uh, awesome. It was a really well, good do you know, time. on the Forza side, I thought to myself, well, what if we got arrested in Mexico? I think we'd probably still be there, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Brought away in a cell, but. Yeah. That was one thing I've got to ask, though, you know, at the beginning of one of the videos, there's like a, a pho- uh, photograph of Alan Partridge. Uh-huh. Right, yeah. yeah. What is the reason behind this? Because I, w- I meant to ask this on the last video about it. Basically, uh, our guitarist. Paul, one of Paul's it's been odd. It's like an old to Alan Partridge. You know what I mean? Because he's just so beast. Because he's amazing. That's it. <laughs> same, same with, like, if you notice in our new video, we've got a couple of photos. Taped on, on his cab, on, on the cab, and that's kind yeah. of like. See, you not seen them? No, 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 What's no. The, the thing is, if you're not day? looking for them, you can't see them. But What's this the one was hard to oh, miss. No, 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 no. That, that's, like, This one isn't really hard to miss if you know it's there. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's a couple of shots of the cab. You can clearly see there's four photos taped to the cab. I'm gonna check them out in a minute after now, this. The four, the four people who we just. Well, one of them is a total pure prime bastard, but we never tell anybody who that is. We like to try and figure out who it is. Yeah. One of them is like just there for a laugh. 
No, the other three are just there for a laugh, yeah, really, because exactly, yeah. it's just like, ha, huh? <laughs> you're yeah, in. He's behind all of this, then. Yeah. yeah, pretty much. You know, and obviously the album you released through Earache, you know, it's gone down really well. I mean, the press, fans, and everything, you know. Yeah, so but far. what's the future gonna bring? Uh, more albums. More albums. More brutal fucking metal. More tuning. death metal. Sorry. I mean, earlier, you know, it's like uh, you played early on, and I went in there, it was fucking rammed. Yeah, and, we had a uh, really so good crowd. Was I was really, really, really happy with like. Um, really, really. Everything good about everything about today's show was great. Um, the all, all the backstage people were like so welcoming, really, really helpful, yeah. really helpful. Went above and beyond Sound the call of any duty to help us out. Sound was really good, and according to the crowd, the sound was great out front. And like we got a great crowd reaction, good response. They enjoyed the show, and obviously we did the whole party little trick thing, you know, with a bit of Hadaway and some cakes and crap like that. <laughs> just, just for a laugh because it's a party atmosphere and you've got to treat it that way. You know, it's yeah, a good right. laugh. Everybody's here. At the end of the day, people are here to have fun. You know, what I mean, listen to music, but most of all, they have fun. You know, but sure, I mean, everybody enjoyed it today. It was clear, man. Yeah, yeah, but it was a really good show. We, we reverting back to the, 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 the original question. Expect a new album out shortly. Well, early next year. And plenty more touring, man. Yeah. And a hundred ten percent every show, man. Nothing less, man. Yeah. You know. And one more question is like, uh, obviously, is this female fronted? Yeah. And um, a lot of people I mentioned this band to, they still don't believe to this day, you know. Uh, without seeing the videos, obviously, uh -huh. uh, they always think, nah, you can't be a female, you know. Right. And that's got to be a big topic. Well, do you know one thing to kind of quash yeah. any rumours? I can, all of us can stand by this. See on the recording of the album, there is no vocal effects used at all. Oh yeah, yeah that's clear. Nothing like that. But, but basically, what I have to say to people who are like, oh well, you know, what's it like being in a female fronted death metal band? We don't see it that way. We're a death metal band. Oh, yeah, it just happens that our vocalist is a female. And if you were listening to the album, which people always do, how could you tell? You couldn't, and you can't. So what does it matter? It doesn't. Yeah, exactly. It works a treat. Yeah, keep keep going, mate. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. it, man. Yeah, oh, yeah. Perfect. Great to catch up with you again. That's it, man. Yeah. And, uh, and this time we are in, like, Nottinghamshire or Derby. <laughs> <laughs>